Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. How are you? Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in, relax. We're going to create and craft together. Uh, I hope you're doing well on this Saturday evening. Uh, today was Crafternoon Day, so this is actually my second live video of today. And uh, I'll do a recap for you of the, the cards that we made at Crafternoon, or the, the new fun fold, the new featured fun fold. Um, I wanted to thank each and every one of you for making and sending handmade cards. Together we're making the world a kinder place, so thank you for all that you're doing. Hopefully tonight we can spark some creative inspiration for you and me. Um, when we create together, that always uh, gets my creative juices flowing, and I hope it's the same for you. So welcome, welcome. So good to see you here. Uh, quick reminder, so <clears throat> the Crafternoon uh, blog post and tutorial will be going up eventually. I am a little behind schedule due to being ill this past uh, uh, couple of weeks or past week. So um, uh, the best way to know when it's when it's available is to go to SueStanfield.com, click on subscribe and subscribe to my blog posts. You can also subscribe I can't talk tonight. We're in for a bumpy night, friends. Uh, you can also subscribe to my free project sheet emails whew, at that same um, same spot. So if you'd like some more creative inspiration in your in your inbox, you can do that. Um, so we're gonna dive right in. Oh, good. Lots of you saw the video earlier and loved the fold. Yay! Some of you might have missed it. We'll do a recap. Um, Janine said she had a 5k today and slept right through craft afternoon. So no worries. We, I got your back. So, so good to see everyone here. Um, I will let you know right off the bat, I am a messy crafter. I cover things up. I lose it. And so we'll play a little game. Um, so when we, I find what I've lost, I take a sip of my beverage and we say found it. It just makes it a little more fun when we're doing something that can be frustrating. So let me know what is in your cup tonight so we can, uh, we may have some opportunities to play the found it game. <laughs> so those of you who placed a $50 order before tax and shipping last month, got a packet to make this Crafternoon card uh, with me in the mail today. So if you place an order in uh, November, you will get the Crafternoon packet. Um, and that is a, a product in my uh, product order in my online Stampin' Up! store. I'm going to go ahead and, am I going to do that? Sure. Let's just, I think everything is fixed. Let's go ahead and drop to the desktop, friends. There we go. I am trying a new backdrop, so we'll see how this goes for us. It's a little bit lighter than my previous one, and hopefully things will show up a little bit better. So, got Diet Pepsi. So, uh, someone's having tea. I got ice water in my cup tonight. So, today for Crafternoon, um, we did the Pretty Pleats Fun Fold card. Now you might be saying, well, I don't see any pleats, Susan. <laughs> so this was this month's make and take, but when we, and it's a beautiful card on the front, but when we open it up, that's when we get the wow factor. So we're going to open it up and wow. <laughs> we have these beautiful pleats that pop out um, with some gorgeous designer series paper on the inside. This is the, um, hmm. What's it called, Jennifer? Oh my goodness, we're off to a rocky start tonight. <laughs> this gorgeous paper is called something really great and I can't think of it. In fact, some of you got the other pattern. So let's look at that. So some of you had this from the same packet. Oh, Jennifer, why can I not think of this? I want to say winter... Mm. Winter Meadow. That's it. Oh, geez. That was painful. Winter Meadow. Yeah, Jennifer's on it right there. Winter Meadow, <laughs> page 37 of the mini catalog. This paper is so fantastically gorgeous. It's actually going to carry over um, after December. And so it will still be available to purchase. It is absolutely stunning. You can use many of the patterns to make this card. In fact, I almost made one with this pattern. But I decided I'm hoarding this one to help my mom make her Christmas cards. So, but I think that would be really pretty on the inside of this too. And of course, as every month when we do our um, our creative fun fold, I then do um, some alternates to that fold, and um, they will all be in the tutorial. So this one is done with the Christmas classic um, uh, bundle, in fact, the pine and and the joyous Noel, the the um, joy of Noel. Sorry. Uh, bundle. So that's where the dies come in here. Um, 
and then it opens up like this and then inside now this one I did change from this afternoon I had this afternoon I had a white joyous here stamped in um, cherry cobbler and then I switched it up to a gold embossed one I haven't decided which one I like better <laughs> but this one has the beautiful walk in the forest paper now this walk in the forest uh, paper is part of a fundraiser so when you purchase this paper part of the proceeds go towards toys for tots here in the US um, so it's a great cause and it's a great pack of paper in fact we're gonna use this paper tonight um, and then we got into a little bit of, wait, where is it? Up oh, here it is. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the online exclusives, this gorgeous Meandering Meadow Designer Series paper. And then the stamps and dies are from the Garden Meadow bundle. And then just to let you know, the birds and dragonflies embellishments are back in stock now. Um, and then the card opens up. This one I adapted the same fold, the Pretty Pleats fold with six by six paper, um, because sometimes that that's what you have, right? So um, I played around it with it multiple ways with doing narrower pleats, and I just could not get the card to fold correctly. So it was safer to go. It worked really good with the one the single pleat. So that's what um, I recommend for this one. Again, these will all be in the tutorial. And then we did some sneak peeks. <laughs> so um, Celebration is coming and the new mini catalog is coming. Demonstrators can pre-order the celebrate or the uh, pre-order the mini catalog items and earn a celebration freebies starting December 5th. And those will be in the starter kit as well. And then uh, just January 4th is when customers can order and qualify for celebration. So this paper is called Flight and Airy, and it's a free celebration. Um, selection with a $50 order here in the U.S. And then this is a gorgeous new embossing folder that's called Floral something. And I took away all my cheat sheets that told me the name of it. So it's it's absolutely stunning though. <laughs> and then I used the bow punch. And then the inside is, hello, all these gorgeous little bluebirds. Bluebirds of happiness here. And then the stamp set is the... Um, Hexagon, oh gosh, what's it called? It's right here somewhere. Um, heartfelt, heartfelt hexagon. That's This is the hexagon punch on the front. This heartfelt hexagon is actually available to order now. It's in the, um, it's in the Stampin' Up! online uh, store. It's going to be in the new catalog, but they released it early for card, World Card Making Day, and it is still available. And then our other one was for another sneak peek, and this is a suite of products that's coming in the new mini catalog, and I am in love with it. Um, this beautiful designer series paper is called um, Perennial Lavender, and then this, this uh bundle is part of that suite. It's called perennial postage. So it's different size postage uh, edge dies and then um, some stamps. And then we've got some new embellishments here that are in all sorts of purples. And then inside, wow, this paper is so gorgeous. Again, this is the um, perennial lavender designer series paper. There's also a stamp set called painted lavender. Um, and then these paper butterflies are actually pre die cut. They come in a little pack and you get a whole bunch of different butterfly shapes. So they were perfect to add to one of the pleats on the pretty pleats card. So that, um, of course, these cards stand for display and make a beautiful um, display. Your friend can friends can show off your artwork. Now, if you're like me, pretty, pretty designer paper is hard to not hoard, right? This paper is so gorgeous. You could absolutely frame it and put it on your wall. Um, so I decided, well, what if somebody doesn't want to use a 12 inch long piece, which is what I used on this fold. So I remember how I shared the, the six inch uh, hack. I took the paper and cut it down to six inches. So this way you could get six uh, cards out of a sheet. I did the front the same and then the inside I did with a smaller piece of designer series paper um, so that you could maximize on that and then have the panels here. One's embossed and one is blank for writing. So those are the pretty pleats fun fold cards from the November Crafternoon. Stay tuned for the tutorial. The tor tutorial will be available for purchase if you placed a qualifying order last month and got the packet um, to make this card, then you get the tutorial for free. And of course, all my um, Stamp Field Search team members also get the tutorial and they got all of the dimensions so they could cut their own packet 
packet beforehand. Um, this is the card we made um, in the last video. This is with the same um, Forever Forest uh, bundle, or I should say dies. Um, we use the, um, this is shimmer paper. I don't know that it's really coming across. I think you can see the shimmer, maybe, maybe. Um, so this, um, this tree set is just really, really pretty. Forever Forest, it's called. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive in to tonight's card. Um, and I'm casing myself. <laughs> I was, um, I just kept running across this card. So on my blog, gosh, when was that? A long time ago, um, last summer, I did, maybe June, um, I did a blog post um, with a card that is very similar to this. And I was at um, our Creative Connections event this summer and Carrie Hacker from Tomahawk, Wisconsin, um, she cased my card from my blog and used it for her swap. And she gave me one, which I thought was very nice. And I ran across it again. I thought, you know, I really like this layout. Let's use this layout tonight for a Christmas card and see what we can come up with, friends. So this one was with the beautiful layering leaves. Now the blog hop I did was to celebrate my, my downline and team member, Rachel Tessman. This was her million dollar um, stamp set that she helped Stampin' Up! design. And uh, tonight we're going to use the same layout, but with some different products. So that said, mm, let's bring in the stuff. I got stuff ready to go. I need to take a drink, everyone. Mm. I still am not back to 100%, but I am doing so much better. So, so much better. All right, so we've got our card base here, and this is basic white. So I'm going to go ahead and um, this is actually the thick basic white, uh, eight and a half by five and a half, just standard card here. So let's bring in the one we're casing right here. So I love to do this. I love to take the layout of a card that I like and then just update it with different products. So this time we're going to use um, Pretty Peacock behind here. We're going to take this panel and we're going to partially emboss it just like um, we did on this one. So this card, I used the exposed brick and it embossed just the upper portion. This one, I'm going to have you help me vote on. And then we're using a little bit of that Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper. And I have a strip of cherry cobbler that we can put across the middle of that. I am wondering, okay, so this layer is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And the piece we're going to emboss is four by five and a quarter. So let's start with the embossing. Um, I've got two folders out here. I think either one would work. I would love your feedback. We can do Merry Melody, which is the musical notes, or we can do this one, which is, uh oh, Jennifer, help. <laughs> My wonderful moderator, Jennifer Walsh, was hanging out in the comments on YouTube here, dropping the comments. Uh, Christmas Tidings, I want to say, is the name of this embossing folder. It's got a bunch of different Christmas words on it going all different um, directions. So let me know if we're doing the um, the Christmas or the, the Merry Melody. So I see three votes for the music so far. So far we're... we're um, Leaning towards the, the music. Oh, here's another vote for the music. All right. It's looking like we might have a, a very, very um, unified group tonight. There's four more for the, I got one for the Christmas, but four more for the music. All right. We're going to go with the music melody and embossing folder. And before I emboss, I wonder if I should, you know what? I think we're going to stamp our words before we emboss it. So since we're using the musical notes, we're going to use the Christmas Classics stamp set. <clears throat> Where's the box of that stamp set, Susan? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Here's the other one. That's not the one I want. It's probably somewhere. <laughs> probably somewhere. How's that strike yet? Let's see here. Hang on. Uh, nope. Get off whole bin full of stamp sets across the room and it's not in there either. Well, where the heck is it? Anyway, oh, found it. I found it. Take a sip, everyone. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Music, music, music. Okay. Mm. Oh, that was a good sip. Okay. <clears throat> so we're doing music. So I think we should have a song um, for our greeting on the front. Do we want to do Peace on Earth, Tidings of Comfort and Joy, or Deck the Halls? Let me know in the comments. The one that would match... Um, 
size wise would be the tidings of comfort and joy because that's going to be lower profile peace on earth is going to be a little taller we'll have to move everything up and deck the halls is taller still we'll have to move everything up so let me know in the comments which one we're going to do deck the halls tidings of comfort and joy or peace on earth so so far i've got several for deck the halls several for tidings of comfort and joy several for peace on earth we're all over the board oops here's a couple more okay i'm seeing a lot more for tidings probably because it fits um similarly than this one is what i'm guessing yep lots more for tidings all right we're gonna go with tidings of comfort and joy i am seeing votes for the folks over on facebook hey facebook friends and also the people watching on youtube here so um, in case you're seeing you, you're probably only seeing the votes from the channel you're on so uh tidings of comfort and joy and we're gonna go with pretty peacock ink because that is the color our car our uh, cardstock is and it's in our paper and it's just a pretty color <laughs> so i'm going to ink that up and i'm going to stamp that right down here in the lower corner tidings of comfort and joy all right oh love christmas songs they are the best right all right i'm going to close this ink pad up but not keep it close by because we're going to use it on the inside of our card all right so now we want to um, emboss just the upper portion of the card so we've got our music notes we've got our paper that would require an embossing machine let's bring that in here i have not actually used it yet on this surface so we'll see how this works out um, so we're going to put this right here and Cindy wants to know if we did deck the halls last week. Well, probably we've done, uh, I've used that one quite a bit because I do love Christmas songs and, uh, we did use it on something. You're absolutely right. All right. Here is the, uh, Mary Melody embossing folder. And I'm going to pop this in here. I'm kind of looking to see, making sure I'm going to get, um, this is a lineal folder because the lines of the music are straight. So I like to take a minute to make sure my piece of paper is, you know, straight and I'm not going to have <laughs> wonky music sliding across my, uh, my card. And let me just kind of measure and eyeball this here. Well, I'm not eyeballing it. I'm actually going to put the paper on and see where we're hitting. Um, I think I could drop this down a little bit more. All right, we're going to go right there. That looks pretty straight. This is a 3D embossing folder. So the sandwich for your stamp and cut emboss machine is the platform number one. Your embossing folder with the paper in it. And I only want the upper part um, embossed. So I'm just um, putting the top part in. And then I'm going to put this on. So, Lori, it's not a new desk, but I have a new... Um, a new piece, a new backdrop on my desk for our videos. So we're going to see how that goes. And I'm wiggling the camera because there are cords everywhere. Too many cords. Away with the cords. All right. Let's send this through. All right. Let's see how we go here. All right. So there we have some be beautiful musical notes. I have no idea what's right side up and what's not, but I'm assuming that Stampin' Up! logo is at the bottom and that that was right side up. So, <laughs> so I've got my piece right there and we are going to still need this to do some um, die cutting. So hmm, let's put together what we have and then we can vote on what die cuts we're going to put in here. So I'm going to attach this four by five and a quarter inch piece to my layer, which is just a eeny weeny bit bigger, which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths of the um, Pretty Peacock. Grab my adhesive here. And Pop this in place. Uh oh. <laughs> Phew, I got it off. This is a very skinny border. 
So I need to make sure I'm lined up. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so we got a good start to our card. We're gonna go ahead and put it onto our card base here. And pop that right there. All right, so we've got a good start. We're gonna go ahead and stick that Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper on our card. Part of it's gonna overlap some of the embossing and that is just fine. Um, I just want to make sure it doesn't overlap the words. So let's go ahead and stick that on. And then on this other card, there we go, making a simple Christmas card tonight. On the other card, we had some uh, leafy stems sticking out from this piece. And we're gonna do the same here, but we're gonna use um, some of the Christmas classic dies. So here's your choices, friends. Let me know what you think would look the nicest on our card. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, the Walk in the Forest paper is one inch by four that we put across here. And then, um, so these are the Joy of Noel dies. And there is a really nice uh, pine bow in this one that we could use for our piece that comes up here. And then this is the um, Christmas classic dies that go with our, our sentiments that we used. And this one has a really nice holly leaf, nice big holly leaf. This one actually has some holly leaves too. They're just smaller. Um, so are we good? And I want bigger. So should we use the pine bough or the holly leaf? Let me know in the comments if you want pine bough or holly leaf. And while you are voting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some, I'm gonna grab my mini dimensionals here cause they're gonna go on the back of the skinny piece. Holly, 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 pine, pine, <laughs> pine, pine. Oh, it's a dead heat right now. We are tied up. Pine bow, oh, pine bow has now leaped into the lead. Very exciting voting going on in the comments. And let's grab this piece. What did I do when I cut that? I need a little shard on it. Pine, pine, holly, holly, pine, 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 pine. Both. <laughs> pine, pine, holly. Yep, I'm seeing more pine boughs. And since my family has a Christmas tree farm, I am all about the pine boughs. All right, I'm going to, I think, I can't remember if I did halvesies on these or full ones. I think full ones would go. Yeah, they would putting some little mini dimensionals on this piece. I don't want to add it in yet because we are going to put in some pine boughs. And let's go ahead and get those cut. So my next question is this. <clears throat> Our designer series paper um, always tells us on the back of the package what colors are in the paper. And so, um, when you look at the paper here, you've got balmy blue, cherry cobbler, garden green, old olive, pecan pie, and pretty peacock. Those are the um, the colors in the paper. So that's the colors right here. So we've got three greens that we could choose from, old olive, garden green, and pretty peacock. So um, these are <laughs> those three colors. So Pine, pine, where's my pine? What color do we want? Pretty peacock. Pretty peacock, you know, with our pine bough. Or do we want garden green for our pine bough? Or do we want old olive, which is a little bit of a yellower color for our pine bough? So let me know in the comments which way we're gonna go on that. I am seeing votes for all of them, Right now, looks like Pretty Peacock is in the lead. That'd be kind of like a blue spruce, I think. So I have not yet to met a, meet a pine that has this color pine bell. But that's the cool thing about art. It doesn't have to match nature, right? <laughs> um, oh, Garden Green is sneaking in some votes there. I think Garden Green might have just gone into the lead. All right, here's Garden Green. 
you know what? We might have to cut one of each and we'll see which one we like. I don't see anyone voting for Old Olive. So Old Olive, you have been voted off the island. Bye-bye. <laughs> garden green, garden green, and another peacock. Okay, let's bring in our die cutting machine here. It's back. Didn't go far. All right. And then platform number one. And thin die adapter number two. And we have the startup plate right here. And then we're going to go ahead and die cut this in the garden green. I'm seeing more garden green coming in. <laughs> Old Olive would have meant it was a tamarack, Candace. Hmm. We have tamaracks here, but I don't know if, oh yeah, maybe they're a little bit yellower. Ooh, I, that moved on me. Dang it. Did I miss the edge on that? Nah, it's close enough. It might have gone off a teeny weeny bit, but nobody will know but you and I. Okay, it's our little secret. What happens at Sue Stampfield Saturday Night Stamping <laughs> stays here, right? All right, so there's the garden green. And while we've got this here, oh, I do like that, you guys. Look, that looks nice, doesn't it? I think maybe the peacock might be too, um, too much same, same. What the heck? Let's try it. Let's take a look. It might end up on the inside of our card, right? All right, let's crank this through. And again, this die is from the Joy of Noel dies. All right. Okay. Hey, Paula. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Here is our pretty peacock one. Hmm. All right, I'm going to pop this down on the chair, get it out of my way so we can put our card together. <clears throat> All right, first off, I'm going to find, ah, I'll just put this in my magnetic dish, which has cough drops in it right now, <laughs> just in case. I don't, I'm, the coughing is pretty much, a min pretty much at a minimum these days, but as soon as I get on and I start yakking, um, yeah, then it starts creeping back up. All right. Happened this afternoon, didn't it? All right, I'm just going to drop the camera down a little bit lower. Bert. <laughs> There's my old fashioned zoom. And we can look at what this looks like. And then let's bring in the peacock and see what that looks like. I, you know, they both look nice, but I prefer the contrast of the uh, garden green. So let's go with that. Good choice, everyone. I'm going to grab the glue dots here and just secure the end of this with a glue dot. You can put some other glue dots on it if you wish. Oh, uh, maybe I'll throw one more on here. I'm going to leave the upper ends. Oops, I didn't want to stick. Come on. There we go. Sort of. Oh, good heavens. I made a mess of that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, and I've still got glue dot. And now I've got this sticking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Things are getting out of control, friends. I got... I'm having adhesive struggles tonight. Let me just, uh, this uh, glue dot is um, showing, and that is not cool. That is so not cool. Out of the way. What are you doing? All right. I think I've beaten it into submission there. Let's pop on our little pine bow right there, add a little height to our card, and we're going to bring this uh, little bit of cherry cobbler popped up on mini dimensionals right across the middle. There we go. And there we have our, <laughs> now that I've not have things stuck to me, there we have our pretty card. Let's open up the inside. <gasps> Let's make the inside pretty. We've got our pretty, um, you know, we're competing with our gorgeous cards from this afternoon, which are, oh my goodness, so beautiful on the inside, right? <laughs> so we got to come up with something on the inside here. All right, so we've got musical notes on the on the outside. I think our runner-up for uh, Tidying Some Comfort and Joy was Deck the Halls. Um, so where are Deck the Halls? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Deck the Halls are still in the box. What the heck? All right, come on, you. Come join the fun. Oh my gosh, I've never used them. Okay, well, we solved that dilemma. We were wondering if we had used that on a previous card. Clearly not, because I have never used a stamp. So let's deck the halls on the inside of our card here. So I'm going to grab a block here. 
and put this on the inside and oh we'll definitely be putting some um gonna be hard to beat the one from today oh yeah that's true it's not a contest though right um we are gonna add i think we're gonna need to add some little bit of sparkle to the front what do you all think i'm all about the sparkle all right we got our deck the halls right there on the inside and we've got that leftover pine bough here we could certainly add in if we want to i can squish it in i don't know hmm I don't know if we need it. It's not bad. We'll put it down. We can put it down in the corner here. Yes, for sparkle, they say. Yes, please. Sparkle, sparkle. All right. Let me look for. I'm looking for a little piece of designer paper we could put across the inside of the card. Could do this one with the trees. also could do the same one we did on the front. I think I like that idea. Let's use a chunk of this. Whoa, things are falling. It's all right. Nobody panic. <laughs> no stamps were injured in the making of this card. It's all good. All right. Um, I'm going to go with, well, let's see. I'll go with one inch for the inside too. Why not? It's kind of big though. Might be too big. You can always cut it down, right? Just can't add to it. <clears throat> Let's go with four inches. All right. I love the fun on this stamp too. It's really, really fun. There, we'll just have that. That's pretty cute on the inside, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, let's stick this. Oh, hey. Our take your pick tool want is feeling left out, friends. So we definitely are going to have to add some embellishments, if for nothing, no other reason that we can put that take your pick tool to work. Right. All right. Let's put a little, a little doodah on the back of here. We're going to add a little glue dot. <laughs> let's try to see if Susan does not stick herself to the card. <laughs> oh heavens to Betsy! All right, there we go. A little bit of fun on the inside. Ooh, Christmas cheer deck in the halls on the inside, right? All right. And then we've got the front and we're going to add some bling. Um, now, this suite actually has some bling that came with it and then it went out of stock and was gone. It felt like forever. It's back. It is back in stock. So this is the loose leaf. No, loose holly gems and sequins. So we can take a look at this. They have these really cool. Okay, take your pick tool. Now is your time to shine. You can come back in here. I'm going to grab the, the putty end of my take your pick tool. Let me get a little fresh, fresh goopy there. And I'm going to try and stab some of these um, pretty, pretty gems. Oh, I like it. I like it. So pretty. And then here just add some pretty gems around on our card and all right we're gonna add a little bit of blingy sparkle there let's put some sticky on that now they're also what else is in here what else is in here we got musical notes which are very good yeah, very cute musical notes sequins that do not want to go on the card at all they only want to stick to my hand there we go I think I want to stick with the sparkly gems. And then we also have holly leaves, which we we did not use on our cards. So um, those feel a little out of place, but I'll show you what they look like. They're really cute, holly leaves. So we're just going to put these uh, sparkly gems on. And let me see, to attach those, I'm either going to use a glue dot, kind of folded in half, because, because glue dots are going so, so good for me tonight, right? Oh, boy. Um, so I'm just actually, I'm sort of not folding it in half. I'm wadding it into a, a little blobby. That will work. A little blobby will work. All right. Let's stick a blobby on there. All right. So kind of like it up here. That looked nice, I thought. All right. Let's put the, I'm just using the putty to pick that up and flip it over. 
so we can get the blue dots on here. Jennifer is dropping the information on these loose gems. Again, these have been out of stock for quite a while and they are back right now. In fact, most of the embellishments that have been out of stock for a while are back. So I'm just not sure where I want to put these. So mm -mm -mm, decide, Susan. I don't know. I'm just going to. I'm going above the line, above the fold here. All right, let's see where this one's going to go. Right here. A little Christmas sparkle. Can you see them sparkle? I hope you can, because they're very bright. Whoops, let's hide that. There we go. Um, super fun. Done. Make 80 of those, get them out in the mail, spread some holiday cheer, right? Absolutely. Let's put our lid back on before I have a disastrous sequin experience. <laughs> I can so see me doing that, right? All right. So here we have our card tonight. And this was the original card. This one was created by uh, Carrie Hacker. She cased one off of my blog. And so you can see the similar layout. Hey, look, <laughs> we also had on this one, we have some gems right around. And um, this one is, um, I'm just kind of looking where I put these in, in conjunction to that. They're pretty similar actually, aren't they? squish that down. When you put these, uh, especially when the um, glue dots are already on the gem, once you put them on, you kind of want to press them into place to activate them um, and make sure they don't pop right off. So very festive, easy little card there that can spread some holiday cheer. I love lots of white space on cards. Big fan of that. And as you can tell from our Crafternoon cards today, I went a little crazy with the white. <laughs> But I just love the look of the white space. So, um, so again, this is the Pretty Pleats uh, Funfold card that is from the Crafternoon this month. Stay tuned for the blog post with all the details and information about the tutorial. And one more here. Here we go. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> There's this one right here with some more of our, our same pine boughs we used tonight, also in garden green, and the same paper we used tonight. So super fun. I would love for you to take part in next month's Crafternoon. Just place a uh, $50 order before tax and shipping in my online Stampin' Up! store for a product, and you will be uh, automatically get a packet next month. You don't need a hostess code or anything like that. Unfortunately, I am only allowed to sell to people in the U.S., so um, let's go ahead and flip the camera here. There's the right button. Yay! <laughs> that lavender is so awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, I agree with you. And I, I would order that baby right away the first day. So if you're a demonstrator, order it December 5th or get in your starter kit December 5th. Or if you're a customer and you don't want to do the starter kit, uh, January 4th is the magic day. So again, if you want information on the blog post about the um, November Funfold card, you can go to SueStanfield.com, click on subscribe, and uh, you can choose blog posts. You can choose free project sheets in the email. You can choose both, whichever works out for you. Again, thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, thank you for making and sending handmade cards. I appreciate all you do. We are uh, making the world a kinder place. Have a great evening, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.